Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for June the 6th of 2020. Well, it is titled Pan Stars and the Galaxies. So what do we see here? Well, we see a number of things uh, down towards the central uh, middle of the image. We see Comet Pan Stars uh, discovered in 2017. And here are seeing it here shortly after its closest approach. And that was back in uh, May of this past year. So May 22nd and 23rd, it was actually closest to the sun on May the 4th. So just a couple of weeks after that, having given the comet time to brighten and appear relatively bright in the sky. Now the comet is relatively close being a part of our own solar system. The comet nucleus which would be way too small to be seen at this scale is just a couple of kilometers across and is a ball of icy material with some dust to scattered within that. And when it comes close to the sun that ice becomes vaporized and turns to gas and forms the greenish halo we see around it. And that is then energized by sunlight and carbon which was part of the dusty material will then glow in the green. We also see the tail of the comet stretching back towards the upper right hand side as material is pushed back by the solar wind and solar radiation pressure. Now the comet being relatively close, but we also see in this same image some very distant objects and a number of very distant galaxies, the galaxies M81 and M82. Now the galaxies are about 12 million light years away as compared to about 14 light minutes for the comet. Now what that means when we use light years and light minutes, that's about that. The, it's the distance that light travels within that amount of time and how long it took that light to reach us. So the comet as we see it was as it was as it appeared 14 minutes before the image was taken because the light took 14 minutes to travel the distance across the solar system from the comet comet to the Earth. On the other hand, the galaxies we see as they were 12 million years ago, because they are so much further away and light travels only at a finite speed, it has taken the light about 12 million years to get here. So what do those galaxies look like now? Well, probably pretty much what they look like as it is. Galaxies do not change much over just a couple of billion years. However, we are seeing them as they were at that point and any changes that might have occurred or supernovae that might have occurred. We're still waiting for that information to get to us because it will take that 12 million years. So had a supernova occurred 11 million years ago in one of these galaxies, we would still need to wait a million years for that light to get to us. So we would not know that that star had blown up until that galaxy finally got to us. So while these objects look very close together on the sky, the comet and the two galaxies, they are actually very, very far apart in space. So that was our picture of the day for June the 6th of 2020. It was titled Pan Stars and the Galaxies. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.